Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scott. Today we're going to uh, be working on a 1937 Dodge pickup truck. And uh, we just got little things that we're just going to kind of walk around and look over and try to get pieces and parts put back together as we can. So with that being said, kick back, relax, stretch out those pinky toes and enjoy. All right, first things first. Looking around the engine compartment, I uh, see that the, the top and the bottom radiator hoses are both unhooked on this uh, on this little engine here, and try to get you a little bit of a visual. Uh, so I'm gonna pull this rag. I'm gonna get this top hose put back in place, and then I don't know how well you probably can't even see the bottom hose. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that bottom hose reattached and get that clamp put back on. So I'm gonna get this stuff here knocked out, and I'll get right back with y'all. Alright, I'm going to bring you all over here. So I went ahead and got the top hose hooked up. And I got the bottom one hooked up as well. That was kind of a pain in the butt. But they're both hooked back up. And here's the engine. It's a little small block Chevy. I believe it's a 355. 350 or 355. But a uh, Holly carburetor. Headers. Little cam. Mile... MSD ignition. But, all right, moving on. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cinch down uh, this side of the butterfly hood. I believe that's what they're called. If my memory serves me right, but uh, I'll go get this side of the hood cinched down. Sometimes you just gotta be smarter than the turnbuckle. But today the turnbuckle won. Small victory, she's on there. Bring it around here. Take a gander at her. Pretty nice little set. Well, I got some engine coolant and water that uh, I'm gonna put into the radiator. I'm gonna start with the water first. Um, Cause before I started this channel, I've done a bunch of work to this little engine here. Uh, new engine mounts, header gaskets, collector gaskets, spark plugs, um, freeze plugs in the block. Uh, was, uh, it was having issues overheating, and um, they had a freeze plug that was that was rotted out and it was seeping all the time. So I'm gonna start with the water. Just put some water in it, and just kind of make sure everything's gonna stay dry before I dump 10 gallons of antifreeze onto the floor, so.
Now I'm just kind of walking around making sure uh, I don't have any puddles forming anywhere. Of course, I've got a still got to add some. I still have to add some coolant to it. All right, I got another gallon of antifreeze in the truck. And we'll just kind of let that sit and check it, see if we find any leaks eventually. All right, so I'm gonna move on into the inside of the truck. Uh, one of the seats were removed. Uh, was gonna throw in some uh, two inch spacers underneath the seat to get the seat height up just a little bit, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the seat set back into the truck and get it bolted in. Give you an idea of what it looks like. So you can see where the markings was made for the, the spacers and stuff for the both seats. But I'm just going to go ahead and set the driver's seat back into this truck. And uh, I'll be back with you as soon as I get it done. Kind of a tight squeeze, huh? Yeah. Everything on this truck's freaking... Can you see the daylight in the hole? Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, you got it in? Cool. All right, I'm going to go underneath. You still got the wrench, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go underneath. Just hold on to it so I can get the, get the hard work set. You ready? I got to get a hold of it. Okay. Just use your fingers. All right. You cool? Yeah, that'll work. Just keep it steady with your fingers like that. Right. I'm going to run it up till it snugs up, okay? Yep. All right, now can you get your wrench on there? Okay. How's the feel, dude? Doing good. Got your wrench on there? Yeah. Okay. Alright, hold it right there. Don't move, okay? Mm -hmm. Here I go. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. That'll work, man. We got her in there. Beautiful. Alright. Alright. Oh, man. Ooh. All right, so both the seats are back in the truck and mounted in. My nephew Josiah hmm. was the savior for this bad boy. We'll be right back. All right, so we got the seats in. We got the truck back down on the ground. Remove the jack stand from the rear end. We're going to take a battery charger, bring it around, get it hooked up to the battery, and uh, just kind of let this thing do some charging. And... Uh, Oil's been changed. It's my nephew Josiah. He's All been right. he's been uh, kicking butt on this bad boy. So uh, maybe maybe here in a few hours we can get this thing to fire up or so. Cool man. All right, Josiah, and myself, we got the battery charger hooked up onto uh, the truck, and we're pretty sure the battery's probably toasted. But we're just gonna let it trickle charge for a few hours, and uh, we're gonna wrap this video up. So until next time, y'all have a good one.